What's up guys? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. Welcome to double day jump training and volleyball training vlog number two. This is my first week of doing double days and my second double day. Last one was on Tuesday and today is Thursday. If you want to check out my Tuesday double day vlog, I'll leave that video link in the description box for you. I had to search for a new park to train at because I mistimed my warm up. It took a little longer than expected at home. So I'm a little pressed for time because right now it's 7.30 a.m. and I have my Zoom workout with my Moreau Catholic girls volleyball team at 9 a.m. So in order to do my plyometric workout and my dunk attempts, I had to choose a closer park. So we'll see how this park feels. It's gonna be a little bit loud because it's right by our art station, which is our public transit system. I'm dressed up in my compression pants and a jacket because it is a little chilly. Even though it's early in the morning and the sun's not out, still gotta get my workout in. And I like to do my jump training before my volleyball workouts. Then my body's fully warm and stimulated. And I feel like it actually makes my volleyball workouts better. So the next one is a lateral cone shuffle. A lot of times when we're doing jump training, we just work in one plane, but we gotta remember that being explosive is multi-directional. So even if I am jumping forward, my foot actually has to turn at different angles. And also in game, my path is not always gonna be perfectly straight. So it's important to develop speed and explosiveness in all directions and to view explosiveness as a full body, multi-directional movement not just a single plane. I know I've talked about these shoes before, the Adidas Dame Sixes, but just doing that drill, the grip felt really good. My foot caught completely and was able to push off without any delay. I'm just baffled at how these can have poor traction for an indoor court, but really good traction for outdoors. So if you guys are looking for a solid outdoor training shoe, whether you're playing basketball, doing jump training, playing grass volleyball, right now, my current favorite outdoor shoe are the Adidas Dame Sixes. And I actually did a review video, which I'll leave for you in the description box, but I mainly tested them for indoor, so this is my first time using them outdoor. Right over there, we got our official Elevate Squiggly plyometric box. It's not the ideal platform, but you know, you gotta make do with what you have, especially when gyms aren't open. Notice that I'm always stepping up on the bench with my left leg. Once again, another easy way to build up your weaker leg. Any chance you get to use it, even if it's not directly related to the exercise, it's a really good way to get more reps on that side, more control, more stability. This last exercise are max jump attempts. This is more of a free flowing exercise. So if you're a basketball player, working on different types of dunks, self alley-ooping. If you're a volleyball player, work on your slide approach, work on your four step, work on your two step and three step approaches. Or even better, if you have someone to set you and actually spike, that's a great way to get that max intent and max height jumps. So I can't dunk a basketball yet, but my goal is to do that very soon. So I probably won't get any dunks today, but it's important to still try to attempt to do that because that will elicit your best performance. 
Now it's time to get serious. I only have 15 minutes left before I have to go home and get ready for my Zoom workout with my volleyball team. So first step is I gotta take off the jacket. So let's see if we can get one dunk maybe in that 15 minute window. And as you can see, I had to put two band-aids here because I ripped off a big chunk of skin from my last dunk attempt. So hopefully I won't injure that today because I still gotta be able to spike later today. So if you guys remember from my last jump training vlog, I was practicing dunking on a nine foot 10 rim. This one's definitely regulation. On the nine foot 10, I was able to get palm. This one I'm only able to get right here. So wrapping my fingers around it. So it's good to know that I can still grab the rim, even though I haven't been able to make it to the gym, but just with my body weight workouts, some light dumbbell work. I would love to go longer with the freestyle jumping, but I gotta get home and get ready for my Zoom workout. But I'm pretty happy with today's progress, uh, especially with my landing. My knees don't hurt at all. If you guys remember my pretty severe knee injury from last December, if you wanna learn more about how I injured my knee, I'll leave that video for you in the description box. But I've been working a lot on my landing mechanics, really cushioning into a half squat to really let my muscles decelerate my body properly, trying to land evenly on both legs. So it's really paying off because my knees feel great. Now I can really push my body hard with training to really start adding inches and hopefully be able to dunk a basketball soon. I made it home just in time. It's 8.52 a.m. The meeting starts in eight minutes and I got just enough time to prepare my shake. So I got this mixed up, which is the overnight oats, which is one of my favorite complex carb, high protein, all your essential vitamins and minerals and fiber all in one drink. I'm also gonna add this new protein that I'm trying upper echelon nutrition. So I'm gonna add this into the shake to get a little more protein to recover from my workout because I'm gonna be playing volleyball in about two hours. Just finished our Zoom workout. And while we're resting in between each exercise, I try to have educational talks with our team. And today's focus was who is your non-volleyball role model and why? And it was really cool to hear so many of the girls say that their parents, specifically their moms, were the role models for the unconditional love and support that they receive from them. So make sure you thank your parents today for everything they do for you. Time to get ready for my second workout, which is volleyball training with Kai. Got my shot of black coffee and my Gatorade mixed drink. Today's focus is the same thing as last practice, uh, except the grooving pattern is gonna be different. Uh, Kai and I are both working on trying to make sure we have even platforms, especially for me since I'm changing my platform from thumbs together to forearms open. So my thumbs are actually completely separate and Kai's going to work on making sure he continues to have an even platform during his follow through. Then we're going to continue to work on some setting. We'll in introduce some jump setting after we do our standing sets. And then lastly, we're going to continue to work on hitting from the right side and just refining that. Man, last time we got 25 pretty easily on like our third try. Today it probably took us 
seven or eight tries just to get 10. So we always try to get a minimum of 10 before we move on. So that took us some time. Definitely forced us to focus more. Perfect. Setting and right side hitting felt a little better than last week. My serve received didn't feel as good as last week, but we did make gradual progress in the two other areas, so pretty happy about that. My shoulder's still hurting from spiking, but not as bad as the last practice. So my shoulder feels better just from one session of doing my rotator cuff strengthening exercises. Unfortunately today, no lunch with Kai because I got a lot of work to do. Got another client later and got to work on some video editing and responding to more emails. So got to stop by Green Bubble to pick up my milk tea, eat a quick lunch at home, and then get straight to work. The sound of sizzling eggs is so yummy. Here's what's on the menu today. We got white rice, simple carbs for restoring glycogen. Got this steamed chicken and vegetable with gravy that my dad made. And one thing I love about Cantonese style cooking is tons of gravy, which is always good with rice. We got some sunny side eggs for extra protein. I pretty much killed the milk tea even before I started eating. And of course, watching some volleyball. And today is going to be France versus Germany, men's Tokyo qualification. So we'll see who wins this match. That was a big meal and I ate it so fast. Now that I'm doing double days again, I could definitely feel my appetite spiking, so I gotta keep my protein high, calories in check, but still eat enough food to make sure that I have enough energy for training for the next day and recovery. Now I'm gonna go edit some video, work with my online training client later, and then relax for the rest of the day. It was a great day today, and I hope you guys also have a great day. 
I'll see you guys in the next vlog.